Well, hello friends. It's Wayne Polson coming to you from Hartwood right here next door to SM Heartland. And I just want to wish you all a very happy end of 2023 and a great beginning of 2024. Um, I am just over two weeks out from my total knee replacement and it's been a roller coaster. I'm just saying that it's something I don't feel like I could ever do again. Um, maybe it's just a special case in my case, uh, but there's been a lot of pain associated with this and I'm still dealing with it. I haven't, uh, I can't sleep at night from the pain. Pain's worse at night. As long as I'm up on my feet walking around, I feel great. But uh, as soon as I try to lie down, uh, the pressure on just the muscle tissue of my leg is uh, is too much. It, uh, so I, I, I can't stay upright the whole time and I can't lay down so I'm kind of stuck somewhere in the middle. Uh, so it's not going according to plan. Uh, the doctor, I thought I thought he said I could be out and hiking in, in about two weeks. Now, mind you, I could, I can walk around really well. I can get around just perfectly. Uh, well, not perfectly, but I get around real well. Uh, my flexion is almost uh, perfect. I'm at 115 degrees. The goal is 120. Uh, in my case, we're going to make it 130 degrees of flexion because of the tree work and, and climbing and all of that. I want to be able to have as much flexibility as I can get. So we're working toward that goal. Uh, and my extension is almost flat. I'm like three degrees short of being totally vertical. That's your legs straight out from your hip to your toes. Um, so, uh, so things are going well with physical therapy and all of that. It's just a miserable time of, I, I, I think the problem was the tourniquet use, um, during the procedure, I believe, I mean, from what I've read, post-op pain can be intensified by the use of tourniquets during surgery. I'm gonna to talk to my doc a little bit more about that to see how true that is and see what his experience is with that. But um, other than that, I just wanted to report to you guys that I appreciate all of you. Um, so many of you have have offered your, your thoughts and your prayers. And uh, for that, I am, I am truly thankful. Uh, Thank you so much. You people are the kindest people I've ever met. A lot of you come from, uh, man, a lot of different places uh, in YouTube. Um, and I expect that probably only a handful of you will see this video or will take the time to watch it, but that's okay. You're the people that, uh, uh, you're the people I'm talking about that, that are always here and it's in, in keeping up with my life. Um, I, I wish I could keep up with yours the same way, but. Unfortunately, YouTube's only a one-way thing. I can't see you and I can't follow you and maybe that's better for you. <laughs> but, all right. I just, uh, I don't want to make this a long, boring video. There will be some action coming, as I promised in, a, in my last video, that I do have some videos queued up. I just have to, uh, I have to get some of the work done on that yet. And honestly, I'm having a hard time focusing and concentrating on editing. It's, it's, the, the pain is, uh, it's distracting pain. So, um, but we'll get over this one day at a time. From what I've read, I'm gonna throw this back at you, from what I've read that muscle damage due to tourniquet use uh, can be healed in a month's time. So I'm looking at maybe another two weeks uh, at, at the most, I hope, of, of this kind of discomfort. So we'll see how it goes. All right, folks, stay kind out there in your neck of the woods. Uh, thank you for tuning in on this video. I promise you some more exciting stuff coming in the future. Please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, that, that's really encouraging to me. I've been watching the statistics and I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of thumbs up activity and I'm liking that. But most of all, let me know how you're doing in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see and I'll, try, I'll do my best to, uh, to give you what you're looking for. So that's it, that's all I have. Stay kind, see you in the next video.